Uh, hey guys, it's Dermal 41 Welcome back to another awesome toy haul video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot to me. I went shopping earlier today um, at a consignment shop that I've, I've gone before. And uh, I got a lot of stuff. And when I mean a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of stuff. So let me show you just a little glimpse really quick. So in these two bags are full of, you know, vintage collectibles, toys, games, etc. And I just kind of want to show you guys what I got so far. And if you do want more videos like this in the future, do me a big favor and smack the like button, subscribe the bell icon, turn on. Um, and if you guys watch this video from start to finish, without skipping through the video, you're part of the awesome squad. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Doing a giveaway at 100,000 followers on this channel. I'll be giving away one grand. All you need to do to enter that contest is to smack the like button, subscribe, both my channels. Um, watch my videos from start to finish and leave a comment in the comment section below and you could win $1,000. $1,000 for a couple of buttons, etc. I want to give as much as you guys give to me. So, so let's get on with this awesome toy haul. Guys, I honestly have no idea how I'm going to record this video. Um, honestly, I have no idea. First bag I'm going to pull up out of here is this bag right here. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, here we go. This first up, we have this vintage, like, beautiful... Turtle uh, Lair 1992 Turtle Turtle Lair vehicle, and it can lift up, and it's so cool. I think this is just amazing for my miscellaneous shelf, and it just it looks so sick it's from '92. And if you run it on a surface, it sounds like the gun is shooting. It's just it's so cool. So. Got that. Next up, we have this vintage Batman figure. This blue Batman figure. I believe this is, what, 2000? 1998, something like that. It's from Kenner. I'm not a big Batman guy. I'm mostly Spider-Man, but blue's my favorite color, and this Batman figure looks sick. So Next up, you guys all know who this is, especially on the wrestling channel. We got The Rock, the people's champion. This Titan Tron Live figure of The Rock. I don't have him in a suit, so I figured why not pick him up? I mean, he was only a couple bucks anyway, so very cool. And by the way, the consignment shop that I went to, very fair prices. Very nice people. Next up, we have another wrestling figure. This is Arn Anderson. I don't know if he's a classic superstars or if he's just a Brutus Aggression, but Arn Anderson, don't have him. Uh, next up. I bought this Pirates uh, Legend of the Black Buccaneer video game, PS2. Um, I had to buy this because I grew up with this game, kind of. Um, next up, I got another Ninja Turtle figure. This is, uh, I believe this is from 1990s, the 90s, or 1988. 1988 Rocksteady from Ninja Turtles. All right. Next up, we have this Turok Rage Wars for Nintendo 64. We have Batman Forever on the Super Nintendo or whatever you want to call it, one of the Nintendos. Also got Primal Rage. Love love this game like crazy. We got two more Turok games. We have Turok Seeds of Evil. Turok Seeds of Evil or Turok 2 I should say. And Turok Dinosaur Hunter. I don't I've never played these games before, but they look so cool. I love dinosaurs, you all know that. So I had to get it. I also bought two well, I also bought the con uh, controller for the game console, and I also bought the actual game console. So I bought the actual Super Nintendo that actually works. So I could play those games. Very good condition. That's only one bag, guys. Let's get into the other one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all the stuff up here. So next up in the other bag of goodies here that I bought, we have this Spawn figure. I've been really getting into the Spawn stuff just because they look really cool. This is Grave Digger. Ultra action figures. They look so sick. And it says, six figures for the price of one. So it's got five other figures on top of the big one. So that's really, it's a really cool piece. Just kind of miscellaneous, random. Next up, I got this Sega Genesis Sonic 2. I also got this four-pack of figures for $2. Really, really good deal. Next up, we have this 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1992 Raphael figure. Another uh, turtle to add to the collection. Very articulated. Very cool. It's like rubber. It's really, really weird. Next up, we have this little bag of animals. A little bag of sea, uh, sea animals and stuff. Really cool. Don't have these, so I figured I'd pick them up. That was really awesome. Really big on the animal stuff. You guys know that. Next up, we have more. We have more figures. Uh, so I can use him in a Toy Ocean movie. I can use these guys in Toy Ocean movies and stuff. I already do have these Leonard Corps figures, but I figured why not instead of extra. Next up, we have this other vintage Ninja Turtle, Donatello. Awesome Donatello figure. I'm going to put him on the miscellaneous shelf as well. I also have this, this other knight looking guy. And on my miscellaneous shelf... Up here, I have this other, this other knight, so I figured I'd pick them up both. And uh, I was really into like castles and pirates and stuff when I was a kid, so this kind of brought me back to that era. So that's why I picked these, this guy up. Other than that, I still think he's pretty cool, even though he's got like barely any articulation. I still love it. Another thing that was really costly that uh, I had to pick up, it was on too much of a, too good of a deal. It's this beautiful Humvee, like, army vehicle. Doors open up, guys. Come on. Doors open wide up. The back opens up. I believe so. I just... Yeah, the back even opens up. All doors open. And, of course, you get a... A figure that you could put on in the top of it. You also get this really sick articulated action figure with accessories. This guy is so sick. He's so cool. So I had to pick him up as well. He came with the vehicle, so of course I had to buy the vehicle too. Next up, guys, getting down to the nitty gritty here, but this is probably the reason why I bought the Sega Genesis, by the way. I bought the Sega because I had to buy it as soon as I saw this game BAM I had to buy the Sega I had to because Jurassic Park obviously you guys know my channel I love Jurassic Park so I had to pick this up as soon as I saw that I'm like dang it I have to pick up the Sega and that's exactly what I did came with a controller all the cords that hooked up and there it is the beautiful Sega very cool kind of like a blast from the past guys Love it. So guys, that was my little toy haul, my vintage toy haul or vintage uh, game haul, whatever you want to call it. I am very happy with the purchases that I've made. Very cool stuff. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, I know it's something that I really don't do that much of. But as you can see, I have so much stuff in this collection room. If you guys would want a tour, like a long video tour of everything that I have, or just like sum up everything that I have kind of like a quick little tour um, this is not all the stuff that I have in my collection room it's pretty much my whole house that is full of collectibles so if you guys want more videos like this and more videos of just seeing stuff that I've purchased and stuff like that then smack the like button guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, you guys don't forget to stay awesome see you guys later I, I cannot wait to hook up all this stuff